Hello and welcome to another guided session. In this session we are going to work with those unconscious parts of your mind that holds the potential to unlock your brain power, to surge your intelligence and to use your brain more efficiently. It has been known through research that your brain can improve in IQ in the way that it processes information and that is achieved through simply understanding how our brains work and if you know that we can unlock our brains potential that we can find ways in which we can be more creative productive and more successful imagine yourself 20 or 30 percent more intelligent or even doubling or tripling your brain's capacity to process information this is all possible through the harnessing of your unconscious processes so to achieve this we are going to begin this session by finding a place where it's very comfortable, very calm, and is free from all distractions. And to ensure that we will not be disturbed for a duration of one hour, I'm going to kindly ask that you turn off all electronic devices, including your cell phone and lights from around you, and prepare yourself where you will not be disturbed for the length of one hour duration. Please ask anyone who may ask for your time and, and attention to give you this time for your private, personal time. And once you're ready, take your comfortable position, either lying down or a reclined position where you can rest your head comfortably on a surface where it is comfortable enough to remain rested for a duration of one hour. Please unfold your arms and legs. Make sure you place your back in a well supported position so that your muscles can easily become loose and tension free that's right when you're ready close your eyes and take a deep breath and hold your breath and release on a count of three one two three and take your breath in on a count of three one two three and now hold your breath for a count of three one two and three and now release one two three and now do this upon your own count in your own timing and make sure you listen to my voice giving the attention to certain things that you are now concentrating on, which is your breath and your counting. If at any time you find yourself breathless, it's because you do not know how to use your breath properly and that you have not harnessed the power of your breath, nor the possibilities that lie in your unconscious mind. And as you continue breathing in and holding your breath and releasing, you may find yourself more relaxed as you close those eyes and have them sealed shut, where you are turning your attention inwards. You may find yourself as you breathe more deeply and more calmly that you are actually relaxing those muscles in your body 
starting with the top of your head where the scalpel is where your forehead is where the back of your ears are and your facial muscles let them relax and as you bring your attention to those parts you may soon find out that you held tension there you did not know that was and now as you release concentrate on your breath and as you breathe in and release let each muscle around your neck and shoulders just relax and as it relaxes let that sensation of relaxation travel through your arms to your biceps and triceps and your forearms all the way to your fingertips your fingertips that work so hard all day to grasp things and help you maneuver through life's challenges they are there for a reason and they hold tension too as you let them go you may actually feel a tingling sensation in your palms or perhaps a kind of a heat one may be hotter than the other bring your attention there and you may notice that this is the pathway of noticing and becoming in unison with your body realizing that you yourself hold the keys to your thoughts and your attention and to the secrets that your body holds and you may find your arms and legs all very still in fact you may find yourself unable to move those arms and legs especially your fingers they just be limp like a wet rag just resting comfortably you may find your palms a little heat you may find yourself also that you are in contact with the surfaces right beneath your fingertips and you can now put your attention there and see how they feel how it feels to just make contact that you hadn't noticed before the same way your forearms and legs are resting comfortably and in this comfortable stage you can just let go let go into a deeper state of unconsciousness in a state where you can find yourself drifting down down a river down just simply taking an elevator and perhaps an escalator just going down and down like taking those stairs down and down and you keep going down and down at each breath you can become more relaxed more and more relaxed at each exhalation you can let your body sink in deeper and deeper into that comfortable position that you have taken you may feel your body's weight against the surface that you're resting upon how heavy your body feels how heavy your arms feel so heavy that you can't move those arms and your fingers and if you try that if you might just fail and even though you try harder the more harder you try the harder you fail it's because they are limp like a wet rag now you stop trying and let it go deeper twice as deep with each word you hear with each breath you take drifting down further and further into a deep state of unconsciousness through which we can access only that part that is the unconscious part of your mind some people call it subconscious because it's underneath 
that controls everything from your breathing to your heartbeat to the temperature of your body to all little things that make you function as you are even your thoughts are controlled by the unconsciousness whether you're driving a car operating machinery even going through your smartphone you find yourself drifting down because it's the unconscious mind that allows you to listen deeper and deeper into a state of relaxation and in this state you are more receptive highly suggestive in which you can listen and be improving your brain power because you see the brain is a very complex structure it has neurons and synapses that build and change over time and those synapses and neurons are the pathways of new skills new resources new ideas and creativity they can only be harnessed through the subconscious processes and that is why as you think about it now going even down further that einstein used to dream up ideas he used to go for long walks and sit in parks dreaming up of all the things like traveling on right light rays and how things really operated that's how he was a genius how he came up with the ideas because he was not thinking in the conscious way it was the unconscious processes that just let him daydream and through those daydreams the power of the unconscious was able to come up with brilliant ideas just about anything creative just about anything that is artistic has been created through this process you dream up you make it into reality it's called manifestation you manifest and create and that is where the brain power becomes more more important because you clear all that is unimportant you leave all the troubles and worries outside that door and turn inwards where your creative powers lie and bring out those creative intelligence things that find solutions to difficult circumstances you find miraculous ways in which you can come up with brilliant ideas on the spot and things that you didn't know that you knew would just pop into your head Ping. that's right they just would go like a light bulb turning on because you are able to harness the powers of your mind that's right the only thing you need to do is listen to this recording for every day for at least a period of 21 days and each time you listen your brain power will improve you will improve in your ability to think you will improve in your ability to find creative ideas to go even further deeper into the possibilities that you know never existed that you were even aware of and now you're able to do that because it all unconscious processes that operate deep down you too have the power because you know you know that you know the things that you know and then there are things that you know that you don't know then you know that you don't know the things that you don't know and you don't know the things that you could possibly know those are the realms and possibilities that exist things that you never thought of 
It's like tasting something we never tasted before. How could such a flavor could exist? It's like knowing something for the first time. You didn't know how that kiss would feel like until you tried it. You didn't know how you could find a solution until it just popped into your head. That is the power. And we are going to let the unconscious processes help you to form new synapses and ways in which it can operate faster and more efficiently, clearing away all the clutter, all the unnecessary information that keeps you locked down. It is your capable brain that needs to have powers and that requires you nourishing it with thoughts and ideas and developing its abilities. When was the last time you solved the puzzle? When was the last time you played chess? When was the last time you invested any time in playing the mind games that develop skills? There are many, many different types of skills. As some of them are found in our daily challenges. How do you get around a block? How do you get around a traffic jam? How do you manipulate a circumstance where it could can be achieved? How do you walk out of a difficult situation gracefully? How to avoid a confrontation when it's not necessary? These are the things that you can just come to terms with. Imagine ideas, circumstances, and work around those, and you will soon realize that you are using your brain more efficiently than you have ever done before. And as you think about these things and hear my voice, let it be known you are just listening to a guided session going down further into your subconscious mind where your thoughts become one with the words that you hear with the directions you take only to know that you yourself has been the center of it all allowing the processes to take the natural course a process through which you yourself can become a guided vessel for others to discover their potential by sharing this recording with others and by attending a workshop that you can take to improve your brain's capabilities and perhaps making a little donation so we can produce more videos and recordings like this so that you may benefit in whatever realm or area that you want to prove in your life. It is for this reason I say to you, go deep down, closing your eyes in a shot, further, further, and as you drift down, you find yourself in a comfortable place. If you bring your attention to the top of your head, you can even roll your eyes back and pretend that there's a moon right above your head. And you can create it and look at it and see its glorious light. It's all the darkness and patches around the moon's surface. You can see it and you can believe it. You can create all this simply by imagining. And that's what the true victory is, is to triumph over our body's innate processes that are at random if we not take control. But if you can take control of your thoughts, you can create virtually anything. And it is for this reason it has been said in the Bible that if you but ask 
the answer will be given. If you but seek, you shall find. And if you ask the mountain to move, you shall do so if you have faith. And the faith is believing in yourself. Because the idea that pops into your head the first time is often the right answer. That's why it is said when you're taking exams that you should answer the first thing that comes into your head because that's usually the right answer because your unconscious knows the right answer from the wrong knows how to harness those ideas and information and bundle it up to create something more unique and powerful for you whether it's a new project, a new idea, an innovative solution, you hold the key to all these things and more. And we only ask that you concentrate and return to this place of relaxation time and time again, only to find yourself drifting down further and further into a state where your breath is ultra shallow and that you're breathing but your heart rate is very slow as if you are in a deep state of sleep with your fingertips touching the surface and your hands so heavy your arms so heavy that you cannot move but you yet hear everything that I say and my thoughts become your thoughts, the ideas of guided session, working to bring you the utmost capability in harnessing the powers of your unconscious mind. That is truly what all this is about, to use your brain like you have never done so, and to use your brain with more capable thoughts, more ideas, this is the reason why I say to you, listen, listen to your unconscious mind, listen to the ideas that pop into your head, take the time, just relax and wander in your ideas, in your daydreaming, that's how the great ideas come about. When people dream, they find solutions. When people look, they find creative processes through which they can innovate. It is the bare necessity of human nature to create and create and create. So much so that creation becomes a process that cannot be separated from our conscious processes because our unconscious mind dictates what we experience in reality and the emotions we attach to that part that we find that is creative that's right go deep down now you hearing my voice and every time you hear my voice you can drift down twice as deep on my command when I say relax you can be so deep that you hear everything that I say everything that becomes part of your thoughts and yet you yourself find yourself utterly open to suggestions this is where the process becomes beautiful because you find yourself dreaming of, of ideas ideas that existed out somewhere only that you could create and process it and that requires something that no computer or machinery can do because you have more potential in your mind than anything that human can create. You have more potential to 
find things that are more creative and innovative that is beyond the skills of computers because it's the daydreaming the wonderment and the amazement of ideas they take you further and further and further away this is the reason we say dream on dream on so that you yourself can find peace and in this calm state which you shall return time and time again to listen to this recording you'll find yourself drifting faster and faster with each word and each breath you hear and in that process you become receptive to use your brain more powerfully to improve your brain's potential to improve yourself as a human being that dispenses wealth and joy to all those around. This is the process we call happiness. And it is for this reason we must give ourselves credit even at times when we have failure. Because what is failure is a process that we have done something wrong. That we have not calculated something as we planned. And that failure becomes a reminder, a reminder of how you can improve yourself as a human being. That's more important than all the money and all the wealth in the world. Because we live in an age where things become very easily attainable and sometimes very important process begins when we stop to listen what we have had in our heads the chatter yet we continue to go deeper down only hearing this guided meditation this is what the process is all about finding your own self your inner powers and this is how you're going to manage to do it. And I say to you, listen, listen well, and you shall find that you have improved on things without having to work on it. Because your unconscious mind works in unconscious ways, it finds ways to work in more efficiently in a way it doesn't have to think about your heartbeat or your body temperature or producing those enzymes in your body your consciousness is all around your mind is more than just your brain but your whole being that emanates power emanates radiance it is the power and the manifestation of life the source through which creativity can flow and what have you done lately to allow that creativity to flow well you have listened to this recording and this recording is taking you further down the road which you thought never would travel this fast so welcome to today's deep, nautic, guided meditation. And I thank you for listening. Please do remember to subscribe to our channel and like this video and to remember to listen to it each day at the same time for at least a period of 21 days. And with that, I leave you to enjoy this deep meditative relaxation. And if you happen to want to return back to your daily activities, for that, I will count 1 to 10. And if you need to return to your daily activities, just follow me along. 
otherwise you can continue enjoying this deep relaxed state for a lot longer With each count you can go even deeper down and those who want ease to come up to return to daily life can follow me along too and now we begin one two three that's right returning to the space that you're in now four five six feel the sensations in your hand and feet and legs that's right and return to your breath seven eight feel your body feel your face feel the eyes feel your mouth that's right you're completely relaxed, completely happy. And nine, that's right, we are there. You're gonna feel wonderful and more relaxed than ever before, as if you have taken a long nap. And ten, you can open your eyes if you need to return to your daily activities. Or now, if you feel like drifting down, sleep more. That's right. And thank you for listening.